In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite way to beat the Babel coverage in Madden right now. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel focuses in on helping people become the best Madden player they can become. So if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to hit that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the channel. Now, like I said, today we are talking about a concept, a two wide receiver concept that you can use to beat the zone drops of 30, 10, and 10, or the meta Mabel coverage out of the Mike Blitz 3 that you've seen most of the season. And honestly, I'm just going to kind of burst the bubble a little bit early on in the Madden 22 season, and that is that you will see this, you will see this, um, this defense all throughout Madden 22, guaranteed. It may not be exactly this formation, but Mabel coverage is here to stay especially with the way most people like to attack. And so my favorite concept to, to ba basically deal with this is a smash concept. And what a smash concept is, is it is a hitch route to the outside receiver and kind of a, sh a deeper corner route to the slot. You can find this out of several playbooks. I've, most spread formations have this. Um, I'm running the Steelers playbook in this video, but I use this out of all kinds of playbooks. And you can create it from all kinds of different looks. Now, what we're also doing is we're going to be showing you how to run this concept as a short side passing concept that will absolutely obliterate Mabel coverage. And if you've not already picked up my route encyclopedia offensive guide, basically what that is is where I sit down and basically try to create the most in-depth resource that's ever been created on route concepts, route combinations from different formations, different um, different hash marks of the field. So whether it be two by two spread or three by one spread or three by one compression like bunch or tight doubles or spread, these are all concepts that you can use. And so we try to basically teach you concepts over money plays in this guide so that you can apply them to any um, offensive formation that you want in Madden 22. So if you want to get that full guide, it's a one-time charge of 15 bucks. It's in the description and it will continue to update over the life of my YouTube channel. Every time we find a new route combination, we're going to put a new concept in the guide for you. So this is a two wide receiver short side passing concept out of the spread. So we're just going to block the running back here. And all we're going to do with this is simply run this play with one little adjustment. We're going to smart route the triangle receiver. And what you're going to see is against Mabel coverage, when you smart route that triangle receiver to the short side of the field, you are going to be able to consistently torch the Mabel concept and the Mabel coverage. This is one of my favorite features of this concept. It's very unique to the smash concept. If you just had to um, short side, this would not work as well to the wide side of the field. I'm just going to flip the play here. Um, just so I can, well, maybe I'm not, I can't, I can't adjust, but, um, if you don't smart route this route, it will still get open. As you can see right there, it does still get over the top of the cloud. Um, it's just the one thing that I would say with that is if you do smart route, or if you don't smart route it, it might not be as effective against man to man. Now, let me show you the other route on this play. And that is this little, uh, hitch route to the outside. And w within this concept, you're going to see that that corner route does a really good job of pulling the seam flat zone up and it's going to allow you to have a very nice natural window at which you can hit that uh, that square receiver on that hitch route. So you see here the seam flat gets pulled up. I just low ball it right there. If I have gunslinger that's an easy throw even Brady can make that throw as you can see. So it's a really effective concept. Now, what about um, cover two? This actually concept is originally designed to beat cover two. Uh, and let me just show you how that works. All we're going to do is just block the running back. And what you're going to see here is that the hitch is almost every single time going to be wide open if they were in Tampa two. The only time it's not going to be open if they're in Tampa two is if they're playing hard flats on the outside, which is very unlikely. Most people don't do that out of cover two this year. Um, and if they did, you would have your corner route. But as you can see here, cover two, look, you can hit that hitch for about 10 to 15 yards if you get some rack catch ability out of that route. What about cover four, you might be asking? How does this play against cover four? Well, uh, this actually does relatively decent against cover four. It's actually going to be similar uh, to cover three. You see that the outside quarter is not going to jump to the corner route when it's zone dropped, when they're playing just kind of cover four drop. It's not going to really, it's really not going to change anything. It's going to be basically exactly the same as the cover three. You're going to be able to throw both of these routes with really simple, um, I mean, just simple precision, just like that for a quick, you know, 15 to 20 yards to the corner. 
Now, the one defense that can give this trouble, a little bit of trouble, is really, really good press man. And what I mean by really good press man is if they get a press man win, meaning they get a win animation on their press, um, they do have a chance at swatting it, as you saw right there. Um, occasionally they can. Um, this is where, for this specific concept, and it's very specific, if you know it's man-to-man, -man, I would recommend um, putting square on like a, a drag. The hitch will beat man. I'm just going to low ball pass it to the inside. You see it will beat man. The problem is it only beats man for like two yards, and then he's going to fall down like that every single time. So that's the one thing. It's really good against off coverage, man to man. If I leave this corner around on its default depth, it's going to get a little bit more depth and a little bit more space, as you can see to the outside, as long as they have an ability on them. And that's kind of the little bit of a trick to this play to make it really good against man. What I would recommend doing if you are, you know, kind of thinking there might be some man to man, I would put a slant flat concept on the backside and leverage that against man more so than I would that smash concept. Smash concept is okay against man, especially if you have good receivers. Because um, you, I mean, you saw both routes beat man to man. They just don't, like, the hitch specifically doesn't kill man to man. Um, this triangle receiver, if I get that way outside just like that, you know, even if I do smart run it, it can beat man to man. But you have to remember, I'm also, I also have an ability on that player. So, for example, if I was doing that to this backside here with Gronkowski, he doesn't have the same route running ability. And so as you see there, he's a little bit more covered and I got super a gap nano rush out of the, uh, out of the good old, um, the good old uh, practice mode sheds. But I mean, you see the idea here. So if I come over here and I put Gronk on a smart route, even though, I mean, he does have a little bit of a window, but look at that. It's a lot more likely you're gonna get the ball swatted. And so that's why I personally like to suggest if you're going to be running this concept and you want it to be good against man-to-man, -man, make sure that the receiver running that concept either has this automatic ability, the route tech ability, or like the short out elite uh, ability. As, as you can see, it can get bagged if their ability doesn't activate, okay? Also, the, the route running is important as well. Um, one other little pro tip for this, let's say you don't have anything, like anything underneath other than uh, that little hitch. What you can do is you can just basically playmaker that and essentially turn that into a drag route. Uh, obviously with this, you know, natural spy that comes out of nowhere, you know, you shouldn't have that. If you put the running back on a route, that's not gonna be a problem. But anyways, the smash concept all in all is a very fun little passing concept. It's a really good concept for zone. Um, it's probably my favorite zone passing concept in the game. If you work that playmaker angle, as you see, it does get some separation on the inside if you wanna try that. Um, one other little trick that you can do, this is uh, more so like if they give you a look like this where they're you know basically off coverage. Um, this is just a little bit of a technique that I can do. So all I'm gonna do here is I'm just going to playmaker this thing up into the middle and you see that now I've got a really good separation. So the playmaker off the hitch is actually a really good adjustment. But again, if, I, if it was me, off coverage man, you're gonna be fine. You're gonna beat everything. It's just press coverage man. You might want to put a slant on the backside just to kind of be safe uh, if they do go press man on you. You're not doing anything to the backside. We're just focusing on the short side concept. You can do whatever you want to the backside with three wide receivers at your disposal. So anyways, that is the smash concept. If you want to learn all of my route concepts from different um, styles, different formations, different tactics, you can get my route concept encyclopedia down in the description. It basically breaks down every single route concept that you can put together that is going to be effective, whether it be from the short side, whether it be from the wide side of the field, whether it be from spread, whether it be from compression, whether it be from two by two, two wide receivers on both sides, or three wide receivers and one wide receiver on another side. All of those concepts are broken down in there, and we're going to continue to update that. So if you've gotten it, there's going to be a lot of stuff coming over the next two to three weeks um, to kind of fill that out even more than it already is. But I think we already have over two hours of footage um, on route concepts. So if you want to get access to it, it is down in the description.